Here we go, the first of our central area title fights in the featherweight division tonight. George Brennan against Zahid Hussein, 10 rounds for the vacant central area featherweight title. I've got another featherweight back on with us. It's Jay Bam Bam Kami yeah, again. Yeah, really here I am. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, I am too, very yeah. much so. Obviously, I've been at the same weight as them, at this sort of central area oh. level. Very interesting to me. Yeah, absolutely. I've had my eye on both of them before anyway. I've sparred George a lot of times. And I've seen uh, Hussein fight a few times and with, with a keen eye, obviously. It's been a really interesting fight. I mean, Zahid Hussein, I don't think he's fought for nearly a year. So, you know, is, is, is there a potential of him you know, being a little bit rusty here? Possibly, you know, yeah, maybe probably. take a couple obviously, of rounds to get into we, it? We don't, we don't know. We don't know what he's saying. It's like, we don't, you know, you know he, could, he could be having brilliant sparring. He could be, he could be very active in that sense. But, I don't know. Obviously, we'll see now. I see George Brennan had a really active 2017. Yeah. I think he fought was it about five times he fought last yeah. year. Uh, he did pick up a couple of defeats along the way to Louis Norman for the uh, uh, English title down in Leicester. And then he got a shock loss to Brett Fido last December. But he seems to have really reinvigorated himself now. He's moved up to the featherweight division from Super Bantamweight. And that extra weight seems to have been a telling factor in his last fight. He was on Channel 5 earlier on this year in the Sexton Fury undercard. He seems to be a lot more impressive now. He's obviously training predominantly with Nathan, Nathan Farrell. Uh, just starting out now, Zahid again. He looks tricky, doesn't he? Yeah, what is it? Zahid, um, he's actually a little bit, I think he's an inch taller than me, and that's tall for a featherweight. I'm tall, I'm tall as it is, and he's taller than me. Um, what is it? We'll see what we're Hussein here now, though. This is his first fight, potentially, in my eyes. Yeah. This is his first fight. You know, he's 13 and 0, but he hasn't fought anybody yet. All oh, due respect to his face, Ian, people, his people. This is his first test, let's say, and it's for the central layers out, which is yeah. a big one. Obviously, George is being in with the better caliber of people. He's had good fights, hard fights, so you'll see how, how Hussein, like this, seeing him say to him his first time, this is better than I've ever seen him, if I'm being honest, because I've only ever seen him with people who've just been there to do the rounds. Yeah. Well, this is it. Obviously, you don't really know until yeah, yeah. yourself, until you step up against a certain level of opponent, whether or not you know you're going to be able to hang it he's with him. Long, he's long, and, he, and at the moment he's using that reach. Yeah, he is. He is using that reach. You know, he's, he's, made, he's made George miss a couple of times yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Again, as you say, there. It's only a minute or so into the now, but you can see the difference in the reach there. George needs to close the gap a little bit more, get into range a bit more. He's going to struggle think, if he's out of range. Think about saying, obviously, spar George a lot. I, I find me personally, um, he's a little bit better when he's patient, George. And when he's patient, he waits, he waits. Yeah. Just because he's just, he's just smaller in height and smaller in reach, I'd still wait. I'd still just be patient with it if I was him. What do you think, for, for George, what do you think his key to victory here is tonight? Um, obviously, like I said, what, what, even though like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a similar size as uh, Hussein uh, when, when I inspired George, but I'd be the aggressor and he'd be patient all the time. He'd, he'd box, just box, and wait and box, patient. Picking the shots properly. I wouldn't really like chase the fight like he's doing now, but yeah. obviously he's got, he's got his own game plan. I think if he times his shots and, and, and picks them well, like you say, there's a, there's a better chance of him doing it. I mean, See on the outside there as he moves, he's got a nice lateral movement, George. A lot, a lot of movements, working the jab from there. I mean, Sahid, I am quite impressed with him. You know, See? this is the first round of the fight, but we're not oh, seeing him in there, George but George caught him, right. him, yeah, caught him with nice a great right hand, hand there. The close round, I, yeah, you're saying controlled the fight, the, 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 um, the round there, but the only one shot that actually meant anything was the last shot there yeah. from George, but it's still that's a probably edge, you're saying, for the round, just the control. Well, as I heard, he's been out for quite a while, he had a hand injury, he's had that, rep he's had that injury repaired now, uh, and obviously I interviewed him prior to this fight, and he was yeah, quite confident that he was going to be able to stop George in this because of the fact that he's got full power in both hands his trainer Rick Manners has talked a lot about it on social media about the fact that he feels Zahid's punching harder than he ever was before you know will that be a telling factor in the fight George landed that great right hand at the end of the first round there like you said earlier about patience he waited for the opportunity and he uh, took yeah. it yeah here we go it's round number two George trying to establish the jab there, working the head, going to the body. Nice job. Both men exchanging some good punches yeah. there earlier on.
I think you're right, Jay. I think patience for George yeah, might yeah. be the key in this I one. I think ju just myself, I don't really... I feel like naturally for George, he is better as he waits. Just waits. He's a good boxer, smart boxer. Just because uh, Hussein is on that back foot and, and he's waiting and looking to be long, it doesn't mean George has to go and chase. Yeah. So yeah, that was a nice last little movement there from George. Some good, job, good jabs and right hands going in from Hussein there. Yeah, he's nice. He's, he's working well, keeping it long. He's keeping himself busy as well, yeah. keeping himself more active throughout Yeah, he's keeping long, but busy too. You just see George is sort of slowly edging forward, taking them little steps to try and get in, try and get into range to throw them shots off. I think the one thing George won't be able to do in this one is he won't be able to get them right hands off at free will like he wants to do. He need, I'm watching him here and he starts stepping in, yeah. slowly stepping in, trying to throw that jab, but then getting caught as he's going in. Yeah, as we are just seeing then, yeah. Uh, overreaching for that, for that looping right hand a little bit too much. And on the meantime, Zahid Hussain's working really well, you know, throwing little punches on the inside, little jabs. But there we go again with that miss and that right overhand right. Like you say there, uh, with Zahid, there he's, he's, he's working the shot. It doesn't look like he's, he's landing anything heavy or meaningful, but he's landing the shots. No, exactly. He's getting it close, landing the twos, the threes, moving off. And here we go again with that missing a little bit, right? Even though they might not be, you know, powerful shots. The landing. The, the landing, the scoring shots, and that's what the judges will be looking at. 100%. They'll be looking at the fact that he's landing the punches, he's stepping away. And, and, and as it looks at the moment, obviously, George is trying to get into range, but it looks like he's only trying to throw that one right hand. Yeah. He needs to work a little bit more, needs to get that jab in, maybe try and tie him up on the inside. Don't let Zahid work. Good uppercut as George came in then from Zahid Hussain. If this was if this was you in George's position now, given how the fight's going at the moment, what would you be what would you want him to do? It, it, it's a different it's a mad one. If it was me in the ring, I'm a very different type of fighter than George, so the fight would be very different. If I was George, I'd, 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 I'd go and get that sense of the ring, lots of lateral movement, working on the jab. I feel like he's, 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 like I was saying there, he's loading up a little bit for ones, for one big big shot, low is looking. Just, just forget all that, just get back to the jab. Yeah. But he get busy as, as a boxer, he's a good boxer. If it was myself in the ring, I'm going to get it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I mean, it'd be a different I'm kind of fight, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel I'm a very different type of fight, so the fight would be different. So obviously I can look at this fight thinking, um, Hussein has an opponent for myself. And I'd like that fight to be a lot different than what we're seeing now, but if it was George, like I say, I'd get back to that lateral movement a bit, working on the jab loads, but boxing, basic boxing. Just getting ready for round number three. Um, a, good, a good start for Hussein. It's been a good start, hasn't it? You know? I'll probably give him the first two rounds. Yeah. I think he's uh, he's come out and boxed really well. Great yeah. jabs, you know, he's really worked. Stay busy. Worked well. Stay bu bit of piss, a pass up, but still be stay busy. Absolutely. The shots. I think George, I again. George has come out a little bit more with intention now. I think he's obviously had a bit of a telling off in the corner there. Yeah. He's come out a lot more intention, mixed it up with a body shot there. See so again, see what I'm saying there? Uh, Sean, where he's leaping with the left up. Yeah. Just, get, just get to the boxing, just relax. Doesn't look relaxed. Have you got that centre now? Get him a jab. Keep your head moving, lateral. Here now. Obviously Kieran. Instead, he's, he's, he's looking on, on, a bit, on big shots all the time. Well, I can see Kieran and Nathan in the corner telling George to come forward, come forward, you know, get on his chest. And that's what I was saying earlier. I think George is an accurate puncher when he can get the punches off. Yeah. He needs to get close enough to be able to get them off at the moment. So I hate doing a really good job of keeping him out of range. Yeah, yeah, I think it's always it's adapting as well, isn't it, Sean? You, know, you can see now two rounds in, this is the third round, and it's going the same way. You've got to adapt, you've got to adapt to what your, your opponent's like. Absolutely. It's good left hand from George there, though, on the inside. Zahid so, hey, doing the right thing, just sort of getting involved, tying him up a little bit. But again, Zahid's like, always the first to the punch. And that, 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 if it carries on this way, it's going to be a telling factor in the fight, yeah. especially if it goes to the scorecards. Yeah.
to say, like you were saying earlier about uh, George being patient, he, he, he needs to be a little bit more active. He was active at the start of the round, now seems to have slowed again. Because I heard again, like we've said, he, regardless of whether he's on the front or the back foot, he's staying active, yeah, he's still yeah. throwing That's no right matter that. what. That's right there. Steve Gray just breaking them up there. Just talking to Zahid about a little bit about holding. Action's recommencing now. Both men coming to centre ring. I think Zahid's kind of pretty happy with him at the moment. I say, Zahid's doing a good job of getting that distance in, landing a shot and, and creating distance in himself to, for, for George to miss. But a better working on the inside though from George. He worked his way in a little bit better that time. Good jab going in from Hussain there. Good shots on the inside again. Again, just like I keep saying, it's, it's, you know, the shots keep coming from the same, and, and obviously the shots from George, not as many of them are getting through, they're missing yeah. a lot more. It's about what's landing, isn't it, at the moment? Exactly. It's about what's landing is for Sage, that's the I, think, I, think, I don't know if it's me, but he seems a little bit, a little bit frustrated. He does, after, yeah. After three he rounds. He does. So we're three rounds in, going into the fourth. Would you, would you say three rounds to Zahid Hussain now? I would, yeah. Um, it's a bit frustrating, obviously. I'm not very, very close to George, but I know him so I, I've seen a lot different than what, than what he's actually showing in this fight, you know. Yeah. Um, I rate him highly as, as, as a smart boxer, to be honest. But as, as we're seeing it now, I'd say Hussain's the three rounds up. I think, like you said, he looks a little bit frustrated. To be fair, yeah. Yeah, I think I think he I think he looks that because he's not able to get into range to get the shots off. He wants to get he wants yeah. to get off. Yeah. He obviously, got he has got a big right hand, and that's the thing with George. I've seen, I think, yeah, I've I think seen he's got that little bit of a style where he's a little bit frustrating though too, isn't he? Yeah. Um, he look, he looks a lot of time. Looks like you're in range of him, but you're not. So here he again, ahead, starting well, working the jab. George trying to throw the left hand in, just slightly out of range. Good left hand on the way in though from George Brennan. Away there, George. This is a little bit better. I think he needs to tie him up a little bit more. I think he needs to work him on the ropes. I think with Zahid, with him having the reach and the height advantage slightly, he's got he's got the ability to be able to keep him off. And that's what's probably getting frustrating for George. He can't get himself in without taking a few on the yeah. way in. The good shots there from Zahid. And just back to the jab again. George trying to make his way in again. Just gets turned around there by Zahid. Just needs to throw a little bit more head movement as he's coming in, George, I think. Getting caught on the counter, though, by Zahid. George trying to trap Zahid on the ropes. Zahid holding on, referee Steve Gray breaking them up. Zahid again, he's working well on the back foot, George. Like, like I keep saying, it's, it's obviously it must be must be very frustrating for him. He's, he's obviously trying to make his way in, but he's, he's taking quite a lot on the way in as well. Yeah. He, he looks a little bit better there, though. That's Good a great shot. shot, that, by George Brennan. Seems to have momentarily stumbled to him. Yeah, yeah, stunned a little bit. Brennan must have took a little bit of confidence out of that now. He needs to continue to, to come forward, work on him, work on the head movement on the way yeah, in, the yeah. movement. Slip that jab. I was just actually doing the head movement. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you all do it, don't you? You, know, you kind of want to do it with him. He just needs to slip the jab a little does, bit yeah. more and come in. He's just a got a great right hand. In, yeah. A bit busy on his way in with his head movements. I think George got a little bit of a welt over his left eye there. Yeah, I noticed that. The thing is, obviously, as he's coming in, he's, he's taking a couple each yeah. time he tries to come in. So naturally, he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna catch a few. Referee Steve Gray just having a little way with both men at the moment. 
There's a lot of tussling going in there when they get up close as well. I think obviously if I was Zahid, the way he's fighting, he obviously doesn't want to let George work on the yeah. inside. He wants to step off all the punches, which is what he's trying to do. And George is trying to up the tempo now, put the pressure on. And that's what, obviously what, what the corner of George Brennan wanted him to do. They want him to come in, put pressure on, try and get a big shot off, try and stumble Zahid a little bit. He's just caught a couple of good jabs though there, George Brennan. Yeah, he doesn't want to get too frustrated where his hands are dropping and he's letting, get, letting jabs land on him, clean jabs, but he wins in the first three rounds. It's a close round, this one. Yeah. Just needs to be careful as he's coming in. He's, he's took quite a lot. And obviously, if you were judge scoring it, you're going to essentially look for the movement, the footwork, the cleaner shots. And at the moment, Zahid is the one that's probably taking it. A little bit of a better round for George. Oh, well, we absolutely. Wouldn't have to score that round, to be fair, though, because he still missed quite a lot. Still missed quite a lot of the shots. And Zahid done well to nullify his offence, but probably edged George on the round, to be fair, but it was a close one. I mean, I mean, with that type of a round, he seemingly hurt Zahid in that round. I mean, would you, would, as a judge, that's would, what you, that's would what you remember think, that? I think that's the only thing I can sort of edge, edge over to give him the round. But like I say, close round, hard one to score. You know, coming up to round five now, he's, got, he, he's still got a role to do, to be honest, George. Yeah. A lot of time as well to implement his game plan. Yeah. Well, just coming up to halfway through the fight now, aren't we? For the 10 rounds, I think George needs to start stepping it up and he thinks he needs to get more on the inside. He's trying to throw a, a few bit, more shots yeah. now. He's just to be a little bit sharp, a little bit tighter with those big overhand, overhands he's throwing. I think it's very noticeable, but especially from judges too, when you miss him wildly too. Yeah. He misses wildly, he gets tied up, see from it. Not just that, it takes the energy out of you as yeah, well when you're missing big punches like that. Bounce, you know, you know yourself. It saps a little bit of energy out you each time you throw and miss a big punch. This is what George needs to do. Here. He needs to, he needs to back Zahid he up onto the ropes. He needs to work there, though. He needs to let his hands go when he is there. I feel like he needs to step in with a jab a little bit, a little bit more uh, authority behind the jab too. It seems to be uh, seems to be lacking a little bit in the jab, doesn't he? Yeah. That was a good shot to the body nice there. Work, George. A little bit better from George there. But again, like we say earlier, Hussein's doing well to just so just keep working on, yeah. working on, working on. Just being out there, a little bit, bit of a tangling in the feet there, weren't they? Good shot from George Brennan there. Just needs to work, now he's on the inside with him. Yep. The thing is, the referee is going to break it up if they're not working on the inside. Some good jabs there from Zahid Hussein. He always seems to be first to the jab. Yeah. And that, that's been a bit of a telling factor tonight. He's been good on the jab. He's been very good on the jab yeah. on the outside. Then he ties up, he can spin off and he go back to that jab. Yeah. He's doing well. He's looking good to be fair. I think George's corner getting a little bit frustrated when um, he's letting he's that, he's that, Hussein land first. Yeah. That's the, well, that's that's what I was just saying before, is that he's beating him to the punch. Yeah. He's staying active all the time. No matter whether or not the punches have got any sting to them, he's just throwing them in. Oh, the it doesn't matter, obviously he's keeping and George away. Yeah. The score on points. Exactly. Great shot there from Zahid, really yeah, well timed yeah. as well. And George needs to uh, definitely needs to up the work right. I think I think that's what's um, lacking. I think maybe the confidence is a little bit dented as well. I mean, obviously yeah. every time he tries something, Zahid's there with a few little popping yeah, he, shots and stepping it, off. He's finding it hard to get used to, used to the style, isn't he? There we go. We're halfway through the fight now, Jay. Again, we're talking about it. We're talking about how George is doing. I think 
it's difficult to give him any more than one round at the moment. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. To be honest, um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd have um, Hussein four rounds up going into going into round six now. Um, I mean, and, that, and that's obviously just us being sort of as objective as possible. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The judges could have it all five rounds oh, at the moment. Could, yeah, could. Look, you know, you can you can look at George as the aggressor, but again, it comes to effective aggression, doesn't it? And like we keep seeing. A lot of the time, the shots will miss, and Zahid Hussein will just go back to the bum, 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 yeah. nice and busy with the straight shots, nice on the jab all the time. Going into the second half of this fight, Hussein and his team will be confident that they're going to get the points. The win. Hello. <laughs> there we go, it's round number six now for the second half of the fight. We need to see George step it up a little bit now. He's just come out with two or three jabs there, which is a little bit better than what we've seen in the first four or five rounds. I think he needs to continue that. He needs to get the work rate up. Yeah, I think like it's okay looking busy, but when you're only, when you're only looking for that pick over and right or leading with the left hook, it's not working for you. He needs yeah. to be busy as in a lot of jabs, a lot of straight back hands, work, 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 changing that level, body and head a lot. I think a lot of time he's just looking to get close, land that one big shot. Yeah. But it's, five, it's round six now, it's not working. So that was That's a little bit better work. there, yeah, absolutely. And book a nice work too from Hussein on the, on the comeback. See, when when George gets a bit of offence on Hussein, he's saying he's straight back. He throws yeah, yeah, straight yeah, back. Yeah. With George, obviously, he's not throwing as much back. And that, that's the one difference. Or two, waiting a little bit, yeah. And I've just heard Nathan in his corner then telling him single one, two. Yeah. He, he needs to be throwing them. Near his corner there, telling him he needs to throw, he needs to hook the work right here. Zahid, is, you know, to be fair, Zahid has boxed beautifully. Oh, he has, I've really been very impressed yeah. you know. He really has boxed really well. To say he's been out for nearly a year, he's, he's boxed really, really well. Yeah, he's, boxed nice. he's boxed well on the back foot, and when he's come to centre ring, he's got in, he's engaged, and he's popped back out again. Yeah. Both men on the ropes at the moment, being tied up. Steve Gray again, just telling him to engaged when they're in the clinch there. Zahid coming on the front foot again, George. He, again, I said it, oh, he needs to engage. He needs to put more punches in, more combinations. If he's not getting success to the head, then throw to the body. It's a good left hook to Zahid is saying then. But again, Zahid yeah. counters, comes back with one, two, three, popping punches. That's better, George. Good body shot. He's away from that, freeze. When he is working, he needs to throw more than that one shot. He's been very busy again throughout this round. If George, if George is your fighter at the moment, Jay, what would you be telling him to do? He needs to be, well, I can hear what, what, what Kieran and um, <laughs> Nathan are saying now, but he needs to be busy as in throwing more shots all the time. He's just walking in, yeah. looking on a one, one shot. That one shot's missing 95% of the time. He's getting tied up, spun off, and he just goes yeah. back to that jab and be busy. It's, it's over and over again, the same thing every round. George needs to now start throwing. He, obviously, he's getting the sense of the ring straight away. He needs to start throwing his shots. He's waiting too long every time. So he's always first every time. And when George is first to throw, he's throwing a wild shot and missing. Right. The one thing I've seen in the past two rounds, what George has done nice is he threw a jab to the head and a right up to the body, a left up to the body, and they landed and it looked good. Nice, fast, three shots. Yeah. He's aware of that a lot more. So he needs to just do what he's doing. Yeah, I can't, he, I he's, can't. You can't really fault him. No, I can't really plan and he's boxing him. well. Boxing I can't well. criticise him at all, really, because he's got the right tactics for the yeah, fight. Yeah, he has, he has. They're making George miss. And he's, still him him, he's still seating George. Yeah. Doesn't seem at the moment that George has got an answer for the style that Hussein's showing. Yeah.
George coming out a little bit more busy now in this round. Exactly now, yeah, now that's how he needs to be for this fight now. He needs to realise now that he is quite a little few a few rounds down here. Yeah. He needs, to, he needs to mix it up as well, obviously. Yeah. Looking for the overhand right, great if it lands, but if it doesn't... That's a lot better. And that was see, a lot better, yeah. The two times he's too heavy and landed. If shoulder has a little bit of... that they've hurt, yeah. you saying a little bit? I think going into this fight, that, that's a lot of what they were talking about in, in George's camp, that they feel, like it, they feel like if they hit Saheed and they hit him clean yeah, enough, well, they're going to hurt he's him. Landed, he's threw heavy twice, that's landed. And, and both times I've seen that Hussein looked a little bit here from him. Off. Steve Gray just having a little bit of words there about the head clashes. He's got to be busy, he's got to throw the let yes. go here now. The second half of the fight now, obviously for us, you've probably got Zahid at least four, four or five rounds yeah, ahead yeah, now. Have, yeah. So for George, he's really got to step it up in these final four rounds. He's come out a little bit better, landing a lot more telling shots in this round. Probably the more eye-catching shots. But again, Hussein working, he's landing his yeah. shots, you know. Even on, even on, on the, the clinch, inside, yeah, on, yeah, the, on inside, the inside, he's, he's landing the shots. He's still landing a few pitter-patter shots on the inside, which obviously the judges are going to see that as a good uppercut there on the inside. Look, Hussein is doing one of those boxing is. He's hitting and not being hit, isn't he? He is. It's obviously frustrating for the, the opponent in the other corner, in George Brennan. Obviously, he's trying to get some big shots off. But, you know, it's, when he does land, like you said, he does look like he hurts Hussein. Yeah. It does look like there's a bit of a win each time. But it's, it's as and when, and that's the problem. He's not landing enough. A bit better with the last one moving from George. But he needs us to keep the man's busy too. Now, as the rounds have gone on, you know, he maybe score George, give him a round or two at the moment, but those round or two that you're giving them to, they're very close to, you know, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be surprised if they went the other way. Yeah. Obviously, the judges, everyone sees a fight different too. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, you've got to look at the work that, that both men have put on in Zahid. You know, he's boxed on the back foot beautifully, and it's not just that, he has actually took centre ring at times as yeah, well. Yeah, has, he's landed the shots too. And George just landed a great right through the middle then. But it's not enough to deter Zahid Hussain. Does land another one there. And Zahid going back to the jab now. Needs to work a little bit more in the clinches there for George Brennan. Zahid again is always first to the punch. Making George miss wildly at times. There we go. It's and the round number seven and the rounds are ticking on we've only got three more rounds to go I think for me now George is probably going to have to stop him yeah he's going to win gonna have any, what is it yeah he probably has yeah we we'll have three very 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 big rounds to even to make anything a little bit close at the moment I've got uh, Zaid up and put around you know, six rounds to one maybe based on the performances so far based on Zahid, would that be a fight you'd like to I'd have in the future? Love to, love to. <laughs> the only fight I want is that I, I, want, I want people to see my name on the sheet and say I can't wait to watch that because yeah. it's going to be a good fight. Um, I think like Styles make fights, don't they? I think it'll be a good fight with before you saying. Hopefully I can get something like that. Of course I'm fighting though, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> we know you, we know you very well. But looking forward to round number eight now. Three rounds to go. No, Hussein needs to do exactly what he's doing or what he has been doing for these first for the first uh, oh seven rounds of the fight. George needs to stay busy a little bit better than the last round yeah. of of his attitude of coming out, looking looking to be busier. But still, I just, he didn't land enough in the last round really. But a better attitude though. He's starting out a little bit better again yeah. in this round. He's, he's starting to come a bit more. He's starting to throw a few more different feints in as well. He needs to keep this first thirty seconds minute up for the whole round. Good shot on the inside there from George. Good, good shots going in. I'm a little bit better here from George. He needs to work in that clinch now. He needs to work him in the corner, get the body shots in. 
Zahid just trying to push him off there. And as soon as you push him off, he pops straight out of that yeah. jab. Needs to get busy here now, George. Zahid again working really well, coming on the front foot, throwing a few shots in, and then you just step off, he'll back off, and then he'll, as he's backing off, he's throwing them through jabs out as well. He's saying he's done a good job right through the fight of slowing the pace down to, to the pace he wants. Yeah. Oh, he has. He's done that pretty successfully. George just trapping Sahid Hussain on the ropes, Sahid stepping off there, trying to go back to that jab, which has been successful for him all night. Good jabs there from Sahid Hussain. Good shot from Brennan there though, Brennan trying to come back, have a shot of his own. But again, Sahid, he's, he's sort of stepping off, throwing them shots in, and then making Brennan miss, he's telegraphing. That, that right hand, isn't yeah, it? Every yeah, time yeah, yeah. George throws it, he's telegraphing it. Yeah. He's starting, knows to, exactly. he's starting to um, take a few shots here, this time too. Starting to, uh, Hussein's starting to land clean, look quite a lot here. I heard you, uh, you were saying before, you know, he's up at, now up at Featherweight now, but me personally, me personally, for George, I'd like to see him back at Superman to meet me. I think that's where he was best. But obviously, I'm not part of the team, and I know he's only a young lad, so obviously you could all win and stuff. Yeah. You might make it, you might find it hard to make that way. But me personally, like, I'd like to see my super bantam weight. I'm not, and I'm not saying again that he doesn't look strong enough. You're saying, but he looks a little bit tired to be fair to yeah. me. Maybe that, maybe that's a, a talent factor. I don't know. George looks looks a little bit weary then when he went back to his corner. He did, he did, yeah. It looks a bit tired as well. I think obviously he's, he has expended a lot of energy, throwing a lot of punches yeah. in the fight. And like I said earlier on, when you miss, it takes energy out of you as well. People think that you know, you throw a punch, you know, when you land, it don't, you know, it doesn't take the energy out of you. It does. If you miss, it takes even more energy well, out of you. Yeah. George has had yeah. a lot of missed shots tonight. Plus, he's got that frustration thing, you know, it's a little bit mentally, you're a little bit tired, and like, you, you know, you see the fight not going your way, and, and things that you're trying aren't working. We've got to, we've got to be, um, we've got to give props to Hussein. He's boxed very well. He, he boxed very well tonight, and I'm really impressed with him. Obviously, I have seen him fight before, I have seen his last few fights before he got injured, and, you know, he looks impressive then, but. I've seen, I've seen him once myself. And I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed with him. But tonight I am. And I get against the best opponents he's been with. You know, maybe, maybe we're looking at what George isn't doing, but maybe it's what you're saying is doing. Yeah. Is what is it, you know, that's the reason why George isn't landing the shots. And well, if you look at what Hussein's doing, he's always first for the punch. Yeah, he's yeah. always getting that job straight he's, down he's first. He's been frustrating, isn't he? He's been frustrating. He's boxing well. Once he gets them few jabs off, he's just stepping, stepping away, stepping to the side, yeah, yeah. making George Brennan miss. That was a good shot that's from nice George Brennan, nice though. Time, right, yeah. Not well, landed as many as he wants to follow the, them shots up too, though. The left hook at the end of that right hand. You see, the, 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 the way George has fought tonight, he's very much reminiscent of uh, not com making comparisons, but when Prince Nazim Mohamed fought Marco Antonio Barrera, Hamed was just looking for that one big yeah, shot yeah, to yeah. knock Barrera out. And yeah. Barrera was just really tricky, really smooth, moving in and out constantly. Very much like the way Zahid is doing tonight. He's yeah. moving in and out, throwing the jabs in. You know, Frustrating getting, them a lot. Yeah, exactly. Again, first to the punch, gets the jab off again from Zahid Hussain. I think obviously on paper, you look at his record, he's 13 and 0. Looking like he's potentially going to 14 and 0 here. He stepped up, probably the biggest step up of his career so far. He's high in the rankings too. I always have a little eye. I always have a little eye in the air for the rankings. And he's high up, he's about. 12 for 13, if I ever believe right, like, but obviously this one's now going to push him towards top 10, which some big names in the, in the February division too. I think if he boxes his way to this decision now uh, and we don't get any trouble in these final rounds, I think you can very much say he'll be ready for a bigger opponent. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's going to want to, isn't he? You know, he's going to want another big, he's going to want a big fight again after this. Yeah, he's done a lot of time out as well, that's the thing. Yeah. And, Obviously, this is very, very good for him in terms of getting the rounds in, but not only that, being able to dictate the pace of this fight as well. Yeah. I 
Some good shots again there from Zahid Hussain. Good shot, shot there from George Brennan. Just not enough work going in on the inside there from George. Back to the jab again for Zahid there. It's been a pretty uh, interesting fight, to be honest, because with Zahid, obviously, I mean, that length of time out, you, sometimes you don't expect him to jump straight back into a fight of this magnitude. Yeah. And he's jumped straight into a central area of featherweight well, He's got pulled for himself, obviously, hasn't he? He's, he's, he's done really well. I'm really impressed with him tonight. I am, too. It's the last round now. It's the last round now. Tenth and final round. And George got to go for the knockout now. Yeah. I think if, if, if we were scoring it, I think I'd, I'd probably be struggling to give George two rounds at most. I think I've given him like two, but like I said before, um, the, two, the two rounds I can, I can give him, you know, I'd be a little bit generous if I'm being honest. Getting ready now for the 10th and final round. There we go. I think if George is going to go for it now, he's going to have to he's give it all, to, put it all on the to. line. Zahid just needs to do what a he's doing. A little bit of sweat off. Who's he? Who's he? Who's he? Who's he? Who's he? He needs to be very busy here. He's got to know he's far down. You say he needs again. to just keep him at bay. I think he just needs to what, do what he's been doing yeah. all night. He just yeah. needs to pop the shots in, step off, and make George miss. And that's what he's done a lot all, yeah, all that's night. Right. That's nice George has just got to keep throwing. And he, that's one thing for me that he's not done enough of tonight. Normally with George, like you say, he, has, he is patient, but he's being patient and then he's not working enough and he's not yeah. worked enough tonight. Better shots going in. Good turnaround there from Zahid. Back onto the jab. Couple of good left hooks going in there. Miss wildly from Brennan there. Obviously, George now going into the final minute and a half of this. You're going to have to be throwing everything you've got yeah. now, haven't you? He's got to, so when he's high, he's got to break down, go straight away. And he's got to throw more than a one shot. Yeah, I can see uh, Nathan shouting for the twos. Like I'm saying that like right hand, left hook, or left hook, right hand. But again, he's just throwing the one, the one shot. Yeah. And Zahi can see it. He can see that right hand over the top. That's the thing, and even when he's coming forward, like we said all night, Zahid's still working, still working on the inside, still popping them little shots off. Would you say George has been a little bit outclassed tonight by the yeah, busier, I, I would, smarter I would say man? That, yeah, exactly right. Busier, smarter boxer. He stayed patient right yeah. throughout. He, has, he had a good game plan and he's boxed a bit perfectly. He even boxed perfectly. Well, even I haven't really put a foot wrong, to be honest, you're saying. Even in the times where he has been buzzed a little bit, he stepped off. The covered straight the away and got back to work. Yeah, exactly right, Sean. He's boxed well, uh, he's boxed well. There we go, end of the fight, 10 completed rounds. I think, 
I'd probably say Zahid uh, has won this by quite a margin. Yeah. I'm interested to see what the scorecards are. Uh, commiserations for George. Unfortunately, it wasn't his night tonight. Well, I think both, as you look at both fighters yeah. after the fight, you know, you think they both know who's won, don't you? Yeah. Well, like I said, a fight that you definitely would like to get in the future. I'd love that fight, yeah. I just like exciting fights. I love to be in, in a good old fight, you know, so hopefully if I get something like that, I don't see why I wouldn't. You know, this is on a show now. Well, I'm, I'm signed to Keenan, Keenan Fellow, so. A little bit of uh, showmanship there from um, <laughs> Zahir doing some press ups in the ring at the end. To be fair, he doesn't look like he's got a mark on him. No. And, it, it, you know, he's about, it looks like, for me, it looks like he's got a bit of an easy night's work. And that's, was. Probably, that's probably how he feels. Yeah, he does. I'll just pass it over to the MC, he'll just give us the yeah. final scorecard now.